Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we'll be discussing about a cool tool which is named as Git Colombo which helps you in enumerating some information from the Git GitHub. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. So we surpassed 5,000 subscribers and I would really like to thank each and everyone who uh, made me to reach this milestone and the next milestone will be 10,000 and we'll re uh, achieve that soon. Uh, and guys, if you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description. And if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my uh, Discord. The link is in the description below. And guys, uh, the tool that we're going to discuss for today, as I told you earlier, is Git Colombo. So this is a, a one of the popular tool. So it helps you in extracting the information from GitHub repository. So first of all, GitHub, as you all know, it is like a marketplace or it's like a place where you can uh, upload your projects or code or anything like that okay so that is all regarding github if you want to find out more information i leave a link for a github uh, like regarding information regarding github in the description below you can check out from there so this is a really pretty simple tool it is based on python 3 you can see it is based on python 3 uh, installation is also pretty simple you can do this on any machine uh, which runs linux or sorry which runs python okay any machine even you can try this on windows as well no need to worry uh, you can see that uh, if you go uh, to here so it tries to find out the information so what you can do is like you can provide a url okay oh, for some example for some repository and it tries to enumerate all the information from them like the username uh, who is the author of that particular repository how many times who is the committer how many times he committed okay to that particular repository and his mails etc like that okay and also like you can also go from recursive searches as well if you want to okay if you want to you can always go to the recursive search uh, okay and also you can search by the nickname as well so if you know uh, like uh, this particular sock search okay uh, sock search is the uh, nickname of this particular user and also guys all the credit goes to this particular developer who made this tool uh, available for the community okay i uh, like that you can provide the nickname as well so this is a simple tool a simple tool uh, the reason i'm going to mention this tool is like uh, this will be a good tool in hand like when you're doing a bug bounty or when you're doing some uh, penetration testing for a, a particular company you can go to their repository you can go to their github and you can try to find out some information which can be helpful for you for the further thing like when you find out the email addresses you can go and check uh, whether they are breached or not and you can try to find out what is the breached password etc like that okay so like that is the next part that you can do so this part is only for or uh, this tool that you can help you uh, will help you only to extract the information okay so this is as simple as this so let me delete this thing okay i already am using this tool since like uh, some days okay uh, so that's the reason i deleted that so guys uh, i'm using on parrot and i to as i told you earlier you can use this particular tool on any operating system which has python 3 okay python 3 is the necessity here you don't need to have linux also the reason i'm using is like all my uh cyber circuit or this hacking stuff will always be in this particular uh, uh, uh repository sorry or uh, this distribute uh, distribution parrot OS, okay so first of all let me go to the desktop okay or anywhere that you want to download this stuff so you can copy this url okay uh what you can do is like simply git clone this thing okay you can simply hit enter there and you can see it is cloned okay so you can go to that particular repository if you do an ls you'll only find this particular git columbo.py it is a, as i told you earlier it is a python 3 uh a script okay if you want to have python 3 install you can do a sudo uh, apt install okay uh, python sorry sorry for the spelling mistake uh, install python 3 hyphen p okay and you will get your python 3 and the pip 3 installed as well so as we had as we done that earlier so if you do a quick ls you can find out a uh, git uh, the files okay so in order to run this it is as simple as this so python 3 okay and uh, git colombo.py and hyphen hyphen help 
this is the like, default option for every tool hyphen hyphen help like uh, most of the time you can use this tool to find out whether this tool is uh, properly installed or not like if you if you are not getting this uh, kind of input or if you are getting any error you can try to debug them okay so you can see it is having a limited number of options only okay uh, first of all we'll go with the url and let's let's try to find out some information okay uh, hyphen u and let's paste the same url only uh, which is git colombo dot uh, git colombo uh, github repository link only okay as it you need to only specify the url of the github repo only okay you shouldn't you can't provide other uh, urls so let me hit enter so first of all it clones that okay so the process is simple it clones that and it goes through that particular directory and it searches recursively okay like uh, it searches for everything like uh, you can see the particular author had given some uh, normal basic uh, what you call uh, usernames and stuff okay you can see username as test and you can also find out his email so socks at the red proton and uh, some other emails and some users how many uh, times he appeared as an author so author in the sense create who is the creator of that, that repository and the commit committer in the sense like how many times uh, the changes are made to that particular repository like how many times that particular user had made commits okay like changes kind of thing Okay, you can find out uh, where is his account from and uh, where he appears as well like there is other user github so like github uh, is all is available in everywhere okay like socks or generate proton mail dot com okay like like this you can see like there is a fake user uh, urhen.com so this is like fake mail kind of thing etc like that okay so now let us like uh, we already got here so let me do an ls here you can see we already got a directory here okay so if you want to do this thing what you can do is like you can provide a directory here and uh, and if you do a git column like you no need to always provide the url like once you can uh, provide the url so as it is cloning it you can simply provide the uh, option d and you can provide the directory okay like that it works fine for you and one more thing that we'll be doing is like we'll be looking for forward for uh like we'll also search how recursively it works like recursively in the sense it looks for the more information like more number of times okay like the possibility is like you can get some more information okay like recursive in the sense and uh, now we can see there are other options like one important option is the nickname so what you can do is like uh, we'll copy his nickname here control c and uh we need to provide an option hyphen hyphen nickname you need to provide his uh, uh, thing his username okay so what it does is like it clones all his repositories okay all his repositories of that particular user and then it tries to find the information from them it is going to be a bit uh, bit uh, what you call intensive kind of thing because if the user is having like more repositories then it will get some more information like it is cloning the stuff so like and also the information that you can get is awesome the thing that i have uh, you can see i'm only showing this on a simple uh, like a test application uh, like a, only on single repository but the chances are endless like if you are working if you are trying to do a bug bounty on company x you can try to find out uh, you can try to find out all their stuff like what who are the employers like ultimately in a company there are employers working for them so you can find out their email addresses their uh, how many times they are committing the stuff how many times like that etc like that and with the help of email you can go uh, simply to something like uh, have i been uh, pawned have i been pruned or pawned or anything like that and you can paste that particular thing here you can copy this uh, email address and you can paste it over there and you can search whether he whether that particular account you can see it is uh pune for like uh two data breaches so you can see it in canva and grab that so like you can go to somewhere like uh, some place i can say which place and you can try to find out uh the in, the leaked information from canva in may 2009 etc like that like searching the comes place there and you can try to find out what uh, is compromised and you can try to extract their particular information so that is it guys this video is simple video like the only reason you can use this tool is like you can like this tool can be uh, can have a place in your information stuff 
okay so like information gathering tool set okay so that is it guys for today's video and there are more upcoming videos on bug bounty i recently reported a vulnerability on how i was able to unsubscribe other users like mail unsubscribing mail for other users and also how i hacked some cctv cameras which are connected to the internet so if you want to watch them out make sure to subscribe and i'll release the release those videos as soon as possible and really thank you guys for watching this video till the end. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.